So you're certain you want a German Shepherd, but now you're making the last key decision. Which sex do you choose? When you're talking about a female versus male German Shepherd, there are advantages and disadvantages for both. Keep watching to find out exactly what these differences are, and how they can affect your decision. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. History and Overview German Shepherd Dogs are one of the most popular dog breeds in both the United States and the United Kingdom. They have traditionally been used for herding, guarding, police, military, and guide dog roles. Throughout history, this breed has developed several talents and has held several occupations, from chasing down criminals to performing in movies. The GSD is an intelligent dog, is easy to train and is always up for a challenge. Originally bred to herd groups of sheep, the high-energy GSD needs to constantly be entertained or else he is likely to exhibit his boredom through excessive barking, digging and chewing. The breed also tends to appear unfriendly and suspicious to strangers but that is not the case with family members. The overall temperament of the dog depends on a variety of factors, including genes, gender, and socialization. While the German Shepherd has many traits you might want in a dog breed, the breed might not be the right choice for everyone. Female versus Male temperament Generally, female GSD makes for sweeter and friendlier companions. Male GSDs tend to be territorial and urinate wherever they go to mark their territory. They are also much prouder. Female German Shepherd dogs tend to be gentler and friendlier towards their owners and people in general. However, keep in mind that your dog's temperament depends on his, her socialization skills. Whether you opt for a male or female GSD, Expose them to new persons and surroundings from a young age so that they grow up to become well-mannered and well-socialized dogs. New GSD owners may consider enrolling their puppy in obedience kindergarten classes. Taking your dog out for regular strolls in the park and introducing the breed to new people and other pets will also improve their socialization skills. With their primary family, GSDs are playful and lively but may exhibit signs of possessiveness. While this makes the dog breed an excellent watchdog, visitors or other dog owners might not appreciate it. What about feeding? As male German Shepherds are reasonably larger than their female counterparts, they need to be fed a larger amount of food. It is generally recommended that feed your dog 3 to 4 cups of healthy dog food, divided into 2 servings. The amount of food and nutrition your dog needs depends on its age, size, build and metabolism. When it comes to nutrition, dogs are like people and have different dietary needs. Not all dogs require the same amount of food. A highly active and energetic dog will undoubtedly require more food than an elderly dog. The quality of food also plays an important role in improving their overall health. The superior the quality of the dog food, the more nourishing it will be for your pet. If your GSD is gaining weight or losing weight too quickly, take them to the vet. GSDs grow at a rapid pace between the 4 and 7 months of age so some special care must be taken if you are raising a puppy. During this time of growth, they can be highly susceptible to bone disorders. Additionally, overfeeding your new puppy and permitting them to gain weight too quickly can result in joint problems. Gender Personality Trails Male German Shepherds, like most male dogs, are more dominant than females, with females normally being gentler and much friendlier towards both their families and outsiders. 
This isn't fixed in stone, however. A huge majority of a dog's temperament revolves around how they are raised. And any puppy, male or female, that is regularly exposed to other people and animals and socialized regularly will be more relaxed and calm in a variety of situations. Commonly male GSDs tend to be more aloof and proud than females, but still just as curious and enthusiastic about play and learning. Whether these differences are present and how apparent they may be will vary depending on the traits of the parent dogs. This is why it is important to be able to meet and get to know each parent dog as you are selecting between male and female German Shepherd puppies. Are male or female GSDs less aggressive? Male German Shepherd dogs are significantly more likely to show aggression than females. Training a German Shepherd not to be aggressive can be challenging if that's your goal. However, training your shepherd not to be aggressive will alleviate some opportunities for conflict with other people and animals. To prevent overguarding and aggressive behavior, German Shepherd dogs should have socialization and obedience training at a young age, which will reduce the chances of him causing harm to someone else or getting into fights with other pets. Training your male GSD to not to be aggressive has some upsides, you can stop fitting him in a muzzle whenever you leave the house. Fewer complaints about him barking hostilely, but can be a downside if guarding your home is a priority. The first thing recommended to do is identify what is causing the aggression in the first place. You can then go about dealing with the underlying problem. To reduce aggression, training will need to consist of socialization with other pets and people. You will also need to use obedience commands to increase your control. Some deterrence measures may also be required to prevent his aggression from developing further. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.